Durham Hill is what would be called a full service landscape contractor. We are landscape architects, we are landscape construction, we are landscape supervisors, uh, maintenance, gardening, uh, a small garden center that we use for uh, plant material for our customers as well as uh, example uh, for the customer when we're designing. They'll come in and we'll show them the different plants. Uh, we're masons, we do masonry, uh, we do lighting, waterfalls, full service landscape. How long, have, how long have you been in business, Tom? 31 successful years. Excellent, excellent. That's Thank very you. good. And, and you, uh, in just Wisconsin, or you do Northern Illinois, or uh, what's your what's your area that you, uh, how far you'll go? Madison to Fond du Lac to Northern Illinois. Okay, so you cover you know pretty much the whole southeastern part of the state. And yes, and Northern Northern Illinois. Illinois. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. So I understand that uh, this project here, the uh, county sent you a letter, and uh, in that letter it said that this is one of the finest uh, shoreline restorations that they'd ever seen, and that they wanted to use this as a um, example should people have questions on the right way to do it they would send them here and show them how you did it which is uh, you're very complimentary I don't know if it was finest but it was certainly an installation that followed their rules and they were very pleased with the result okay as was the customer the Department of Natural Resource throughout Wisconsin has regulations and rules written on how a shoreline is to be landscaped and what you do and don't get to do. Their role in all this really is making sure that the county in which you live in or the property in which you're going to be landscaping, their role is to make sure that the county enforces their rules. Now the county may decide to have more stringent rules than even the DNR. So we always start with the town, the township, wherever it is the property is, and then the county and we sit down with them and show them a preliminary design, an idea that the customer has uh, to help them get the permit and the permission to do what you see here. One of the terms that you'll hear a lot and where everything be begins is what is called the ordinary high water mark, uh, which you'll see in this, in this diagram. It also shows the waves as they crash into the shore. And the retaining of the shoreline can be done with boulders and is permitted as long as it is done in this fashion with certain grasses, certain plant material uh, included in it and fabrics. Uh, as you go back further into the, into the shoreline you can see the diversity that was used uh, again to create and to stop uh, the runoff of the water from the lawn. You can see how beautiful the shore is. Did you just do this area right here or did you do the whole shoreline? The whole shoreline, side to side. There's many plants that you're familiar with, like the black-eyed Susan. Everyone sees them. And even some of the taller grasses and the pagoda dogwood. But there are a lot of other plants from iris to baptisma to sedges and grasses that if I pronounced the name, you would think that the language I was speaking was uninterpretable. But the purpose for all of these plants is to reduce the runoff of the waters and the nutrients, the extra nutrients that are coming from the lawn, which is above. The water comes through the lawn and it's picking up different fertilizers, different things that we apply to our lawns and going into the lake. And this plant material is meant to absorb that or to relieve as much of it as it can before it gets to the lake so we keep our legs clean. What's uh, How long does a project like this take? Uh, including the shoreline about two weeks. About two weeks? And you did you did the stairs and um, did you do all, all around the building? or? Yes, and if you notice the pavers, they are the uh, uh, pavers that allow water to go through. Okay. Which is called a permeable paver. Okay. Uh, Again, the county and the DNR love that because the water is allowed to filter through. If you have any uh, landscape needs, questions, concerns, Tom's the one to call. What's your phone number, Tom? 414-529-5262. 529-5262. Excellent. Well, thanks for uh, showing us the shoreline. It's, uh, it's awesome.